We have an early model Chevrolet small block V8. And we're gonna go through the steps in replacing the water pump. Before performing a cooling system repair, it's recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. With the cooling system flushed and completely drained, we'll disconnect the negative battery cable. Before starting your repair, you always wanna be sure you're working with a cool engine. Remove the alternator from its brackets and set to the side. Remove the power steering pump. Your application may have more accessory drive items that you'll have to remove to gain access to the water pump. Before removing the fan clutch, be sure and inspect it. Make sure that it does not have any excessive play or wobble that would create a water pump failure. Remove the fan from the water pump hub. Inspect the fan blade for bent or loose blades. Inspect the clutch area for any possible oil leaks. Remove any brackets that are attached to the water pump. Disconnect the lower radiator hose. Remove the four retaining bolts holding the pump in place. Be sure and capture any residual coolant that may be behind the water pump. Thoroughly clean the gasket surface on the engine block. You'll be required to remove the pulley studs and install them into the new pump. If using a silicone based type sealant, only lightly apply it to the gasket surface areas, paying particular attention to the bolt hole area. Using excessive sealant can cause coolant system failures. Install the four mounting bolts to the water pump. Torque the water pump mounting bolts to 30 foot-pounds. Your application may have a heater hose or a pipe plug installed into the back of the water pump. You'll have to remove this from the old pump and install in a new. With the pump bolted into position, install the lower radiator hose. Reinstall the accessory drive brackets. Any debris that is caught between the pulley and the flange of the water pump can cause an imbalanced pulley. This will lead to a premature water pump failure. Install the fan blade onto the water pump. Hand tighten the nuts. We will finish tightening them after installing the drive belt. Install the alternator and tighten all accessory drive belts. Finish tightening the fan retaining nuts. Reinstall the negative battery cable. Refill the cooling system with coolant and distilled water to manufacturer specifications. It's a good idea to test your pressure cap. A faulty pressure cap can lead to an inefficient cooling system. If you do not have access to a pressure tester, these are available at your local parts store. Start the vehicle and turn the cabin heater on high. This will help bleed the air out of the system. Allow the engine to reach operating temperature and check for leaks. Shut the engine off and allow it to cool completely. Top the recovery tank off to manufacturer specs. 